Good day, hi, and welcome. All right, I got a little bit of a tip and a trick for you guys. I know some of you guys probably are like me. You might have grown up in the 90s, and, uh, or not grown up, or was a young man in the 90s, and there were some really cool rock and roll bands back then, and one really cool band was called Big Wreck, and they did a tune called The Oaf. Now, this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to play The Oaf, because I'm just learning it myself. This is the tuning of the Ulf. This is why you can't figure this song out, because it's not standard tuning. This is a G5 chord. Beautiful chord. So it's similar to Dadgad in a sense, but it's it's different. Now, the way I'm I'm not I don't think I'm in the flat though. I'm like down from standard 4-4 tuning. And if you want to get a pen and paper to write, write this down, now's the time to do it. It'll just be easier to remember this way So when you're tuning. So your E string is going to be down-tuned to a D flat. This is just probably down to a D, not quite the flat. So you can go, if you want to get more punch out of it, you just go flat, okay? If not, just, if you don't want to spend all day tuning, <laughs> just, just drop it down to the, the whole note. D, G on your A, leave your D normal. Go to G, leave it normal, and then your B string, you down tune it to a G flat, and you down tune your D to uh, uh, your E to a D flat. Now, I didn't go flat, it's just basically if you want to take away the flats on it, your D, G, D normal, G normal, down tune to G, down tune to D. You get that wonderful sound and that's a g5 chord now technically i guess you got to go flat for it but uh i didn't go flat on it at all and it seems to be the right uh tuning so it's um I'll, i'm just gonna i don't know the whole riff but it's just kind of going by memory here but it's something like this It's that little riff that everybody wants to get that. And then that other one that... Uh, what the, at the ending there, uh, uh, is it Brett Thornley? Whoever the, the, the guitar player, the guy, the guy's got some pretty creative uh, stuff, uh, alternate tuning stuff. The other guitar guy that does that is uh, uh, what's his name, Martin from uh, Tea Party. He does a lot of alternate tunings. Uh, it makes it easier to play stuff, and, and of course, it gives you these guitar sounds that. Uh, um, that are really cool. And I think that, that the, the, the phasing sound you get is either he's using a phaser or an old speaker called a Leslie. The, it was like a rotary speaker. And the speaker itself would like vibrate and shake and, and turn while it while you're playing. And they gave it that weird phasing sound. Uh, I think that's what he was using for it. I, I don't know. You'd have to research a bit more. But uh, yeah, you probably get away with a tremolo or something on it for that effect uh, on that. Uh, that last, last little bit. And then we'll go over the tuning one more time and we'll call that a video. Uh, go something like... Uh Cool song. So 
it's all like the, the harmonizing stuff. But, but basically, again, it's a G5 chord. You're going to start off down to your E, your low E to a D, then a G on the A, and then on the D, just leave it normal, the G, leave it normal, then on your B string, go down to a G, and then for your um, uh, e, high E, you go to a D. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of similar to dad gag tuning in, in a lot of way, you know, <laughs> uh, except for you, you you drop the A and you you add a G. Yeah, so you're basically changing two notes from dad gag. Basically, that, that's all you're doing. Do it for time. Okay. I'm just going to do a little, my own medley there, see, see what, what kind of sounds we get out of this here. If I don't lose my pick. And yes, I am in my pajamas. All right. tuning i really like that tuning i've tried a lot of different tunings but uh, that, that is a very nice tuning uh so there hopefully that'll help some guys out and gals and uh i'm gonna work on that song and see if i can do a nice cover version of it and uh yeah there we go stealing other people's music but uh it's cool when you see artists use uh, different tuning it shows you that they're musician musicians like they're uh not just always in the standard tuning uh that, a lot of songs like that, um, when you're not in standard tuning, and you, you know, like a lot of people don't realize, a lot of guys like that will use these tunings because when they're playing and singing, like when you're just a guitar player, just the guitar player, the advantage you typically have is, whoops, sorry, block it off, <laughs> get the, out of your face there. Uh, the advantage you have is you can just concentrate on the guitar playing, but when you have to play and sing, sometimes if you want that root note, to be the main theme, you, you basically want to just open tune to that note, and then you can basically play just about everything with just two fingers. Like almost that that entire song was almost played. You can tell it's pretty much going to be played with just two fingers, maybe three for a few little bit. So it makes it a lot easier to play. You'd be it almost impossible to play that in uh, standard tuning without. You know what I mean? So the idea is just so that everything flows in. Plus you get the ambience of uh, the ringing notes and the, you know, all the harmonizing of the notes. It's just a natural, a natural, uh, you know, harmonizing of the notes and it gives you just so much extra sustain and brilliance and all that extra punch and, and all that. So anyway, I just thought it'd help out because I didn't see anybody else putting any tutorials on what, like the, they'll write what the tuning is, but you know, just so you can hear the tuning by itself and then you can play around with it and, I'm pretty sure it'll be a pretty easy song to play. So even if I don't get uh, famous playing other people's songs, maybe I'll uh, get famous uh, uh, telling you how they're tuning it. So anyway, there we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe button. Have yourselves a great day. Eh?